Hit that notification bell. That is disgusting. You win. Yo, yo, what it do, baby? What? What's up, everybody out there on the World Wide Web? I am BR Rider, and this is BR Rider Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. Back with another NBA 2K shooting tutorial video. This time with the Golden State Warriors. Ooh. Bro, what are you talking about, man? We're out here making moves. One of our viewers suggested it. I'm gonna drop the comment right here. Boom. Representing, supporting the 2K community. So with that being said, before we get started, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below. You know, everything helps the channel. You guys help me out, I help you out. So with that being said, let's do it, y'all. So to get started, we're gonna go straight into play now. 2K University, you guys know what it is. And then we're gonna go to freestyle. Let me see what kind of jerseys they got. So before we get started, if you haven't seen any of these videos, I have an original shooting tutorial video to get you guys up to speed, up to date with everything on how to attack the game when it comes to shooting so you guys can be green bar ready. So with that being said, if you haven't seen that video, click the link in the bio to get all the way updated, to get all the way trained up on where you should be and then come back to this video if you want to train a little bit more in depth with the Golden State Warriors. So with that being said, let's get into it. Let's go! First things first, I say this in every one of my videos, when it comes to knowing your team and knowing your players, know your role. I always preach it, this game is so realistic that you have to play the way your player plays. If your guy can't shoot, don't shoot. If your guy's a shooter, shoot. If your guy's a slasher, then drive to the cup. Don't do some out of characteristic things out here because the game is too realistic. Play the way your guy plays and then you'll be good. With that being said, step number one, hot zones. Oh my gosh. Steph is on fire from anywhere on the court. I mean, obviously, right? Steph is arguably the best shooter in NBA history, so. Step number two, to get your form down, I always say go to the difficulties and go to pro. That's how you get the form down and how you get to tweak the shot so you figure out how it is. So Steph's jumper is very pure. It's a quick shot, very quick, very quick. Right at the right temple, boom. Pull up, boom, right temple, right there. So you gotta realize that it's a quick jumper. Oh my gosh, this form is beautiful. Right temple is where you release, right there. Next step, now you change the difficulty over to Hall of Fame, but that's the way it is online. Quick, right temple, boom. The release feedback at the top right there to give you a little bit more insight on what you're doing wrong. See that one's a little late. Still late. Bingo. Excellente. Oh there it is. Three in a row. So stuff is pretty easy. Like I said, quick jumper, right temple, boom boom, we're out of here. Now we're switching it up to Clay Thompson. I don't think you can play with him online because he's hurt, but. All right, we're gonna go to pro, see his hot zones. Looks like top of the key, all the right side. He's probably good on the left side as well, but that just means that he has better percentages from the top to right side. So I'm a gun for that. So his form is a split second longer than Steph's. As you can tell, it's like he's turning to the left a little bit with his jumper. When Steph goes up straight, look, he's drifting left. So take that into the account. Drifts to the left a little bit. Boom, right here is where you let go. It's the same thing, right temple for Clay as well. That looks just like his shot in real life also. Options, Hall of Fame. Let's try it out, late. Bingo. It's quick, man. I think Steph and Clay's are a little similar, except Steph's is a, a split second faster. Kind of quick, right temple area, boom, we in here. Oh, I forgot they got Wiggins. I feel like Wiggins is like a volume shooter. He has to get a lot of shots up. He's not a sharp shooter. If you need to get a shot off with him, the left corner is gonna be it. 
let's head over back to pro and see what the jumper's like. Yeah, see, his is a little slower than Steph's and Clay's for sure. He loads up the jumper to pull it up. So he loads it up slow. Boom, right there. So this is his release point. So his release is right temple over the head. He has a little bit of a load up, which means he brings the ball up. Boom, right here. Let's see if we got it down. Bingo. Let's go. I got it, bro. A little longer. High over the head. Right temple. Right temple over the head. Let's go. Bingo. Let's move on. Let's go, Draymond. Hot zones. Cold from everywhere except the right corner. Okay? So, see, those are the differences. If you check the hot zones for each player, Draymond Green is a better shooter from the right corner and then Wiggins is a better shooter from the left corner okay so when you're in the game you need to decipher that because every little thing helps when you're playing online options go back down to pro I know I'm a broken record but that's what we got to do so that's what we're doing yeah his is like Wiggins but even longer and it has a hitch in it wow his jumper is terrible dude Okay, his jumper's ugly. So his release is gonna be right here. High, right, temple. It's a little difficult because he has a few hitches in it, so it's not like a fluid motion. So it makes it a little difficult to time. A little few hitches, and then boom, right there's the release, all right? Let's see. Ooh, I got it. If you can't make it, go to the mid-range and try to work the mid-range jumper. It makes it a little easier. See? Like I said, Draymond's not the best three-point shooter, so we're going to try mid-range and work on it a little bit. There we go. Alright, so we're going to play with this dude, Pascal. He's pretty good. He's one of their best rookies that they have on the team. See? Because you can tell he's a rookie, so you don't have any hot spots or cold spots. Now let me know the hot spots. Down to pro. It's like wide and then high and tight. Like his form gets high and tight. Look at this dude's facial expressions though. He's ready. <laughs> Yo. This dude's facial expressions are intense. Look at this dude. He is excited. <laughs> so like I was saying, he starts out wide brings the ball all the way down makes the load up a little longer all the way high and tight so look he, boom so this is his release right here right temple but high above the head all right all the way up boom high above the head now that we know it we're gonna go to hall of fame between him and draymond oh both of these are tough So I think we have time for one more player. I don't even know this guy that much, but he has an A minus. He's a three pointer. So, so hot spots. So left corner, right wing. His offensive ratings are pretty good in this game. So this is almost like uh, Pascal's, but a little better. High and tight. Two. Loads it up. Boom, right at the forehead. Normal load up. Boom, right at the forehead is where you release it with him. Settings, Hall of Fame. Got it. That's two. I'm looking for the forehead. Looking for that forehead. Boom, let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up right there. Oh, I like that. 
So that's going to be it for this Golden State Warriors tutorial. It's been fun, man. I appreciate... Oh, you saw that? Alright, guys. So if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, join the fam, hit that notification bell. That is disgusting. Every little thing helps with the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate it, guys, for real. I'm just out here trying to help the 2K community so when you play this game, you can get buckets. Wow. Comment if you liked it. Comment what other teams you want to see next. So with that being said, go play some 2K, shoot your shot, and get that W. Amen.